Graphing a linear inequality in the plane, standard form. The first thing I need to do before I can graph anything is put it in its slope intercept form. So I'm going to add 5x to both sides. So I have negative 2y less than 5x positive minus 6. Your x's always go in front, remember? In order for me to graph, I need to have it look like this. Of course, it's not going to be an equal sign, but I need it to look like this on the right and this on the left. So I need just the y, which means I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. When I do that, I'm going to get negative 5 over 2x, and here I'm going to get a positive 3. However, we have to remember the one big rule with inequalities. It's the one rule that separates the process of inequalities from the process of equations. And that one rule is, if I divide by a negative, I need to flip the symbol over, which means the symbol will now be open toward the y. So I can graph the line like normal. I begin with the y-intercept, one, two, three, and then I start to move according to my slope. So decrease, one, two, three, four, five, and move over to the right two units, my second point is here. And then I can trace the things in the computer. You can select the line and you'll have the line. And then because it does not have a bar on it, I will have to select the option to make it a dotted line. On paper, I'm just going to go ahead and erase little pieces so that it looks like a dotted line. It takes a little bit of time, but it gives you the same sort of effect. So it is a dotted line here, okay? Then now I need to shade. Since it tells me y is greater than this line, I am going to shade where the y values are greater. Now you only have two sides of the line. This is the line here. You only have this side where the ruler is, or you have this side where the ruler is. Those are the two sides of the line. Which side am I going to shade? If it's telling me where y is greater than this line, then I need to be shading where the y values are bigger. This is where I touch the y-axis, but these values have bigger y values than those down here. So this is the side that I'm going to end up shading. And that is how you graph an in a linear inequality. And if you have it in standard form, you just make it look like point-slope form, and you can graph it the same way you did when you were doing it with point-slope form.